time. So what I just described to you, what I just described to you is saying like, okay, so like this is the shape of the head, right? This is our box, just for argument's sake. And I'm not, um, obviously, I'm just, right? And so from here, I can say, well, the eyes are here and the nose is here and the mouth is here, right? The hairline is here, right? And it's already starting to feel like something. From here, I would say, okay, you know, my light source is over here. So we have a shadow. And again, I would be doing this from reference. So this is a shadow. And I would basically take a brush and a long stroke. This is the eyebrow, comes across. And you're going to watch as I do this, this face is going to become, or well, these lines are going to become a face very quickly. Shadow comes down the nose, it goes under the nose, and then down in here. The shadow's cast, and the shadow cast by the nose kind of runs down in here. This is your cheek. This comes down. The mouth, kind of, you're getting a shadow on the top lip, in here, and then underneath the bottom lip, and then the chin is down in here. It's kind of like this. Right? When you can see the face kind of starting to emerge from this. And then I would say, like, oh, on the other side, let's say this is where the face ends. Right? So there's the face. I haven't put any light in yet. So from here, oh, and there would be a shadow in here. From here, I would then fill in the light. Now, mind you, you're looking at like 90 seconds of scribbling. But there's a face. It would take nothing, I'm using dull pencils, it would take nothing to drop in a few marks, reflections and highlights, to turn it into something a lot more solid. Right? Highlight on the nose. Highlight on the cheek. A little bit right here. Right, but you can see, look at how three-dimensional it already feels. And this is what a, maybe a, a 120 second scribble with no reference. It's just an off-the-cuff scribble. Now imagine if you spent 20 minutes just getting the general shapes before just the shadow that you can wipe out and reestablish and wipe out and reestablish and just keep doing that over and over and over until it looks right. Then build out from there. Right? But that's all it is. We're not looking to flesh it out. There's nothing, there's nothing here. But if I were doing this from, from a live sitter or from a photograph, these proportions, were, I would have proportions coming to me that I can look up and go, oh, this looks like it's this big, this looks like it's this big. And I'd be able to kind of adjust this as I go and make sense of it. Here, I'm just winging it. And, and unlike a lot of guys who, you know, like comic book artists and stuff like that, I don't wing drawings like this. I'm not a comic book guy. Comic book guy would nail this thing. It would be absolutely like perfect from a scribble because that's what they do. This is not what I do. For me, this is this is I'm I'm playing with something that is not a, a, a developed skill set to just throw a head together off the cuff, right? I can do it, but it takes me a little bit of time. I'm not going to do it in a in a two minute scribble. But you get the general gist of it. That's a head. That's a face. And I did it with. Are basically four shades, exactly the way we would do it in Evolve. Shadow, light. I didn't put the gradients in, but the gradients this for the face still has form. Okay. So when we when we do a painting from direct observation, the same idea holds. Right? 